The role system uh, consists of, it's a classification role system. It's the first time it's a central role system with brain and spinal cord. And uh, you remember a very popular number in, in the brain, it's a number six. For so example, it's a six parts of the, uh, <clears throat> Uh, six parts of the uh, brain, six lobes, uh, six uh, different parts in the brain. It's a very popular uh, number. Spinal cord uh, located in the vertebral column. It's a spinal cord, uh, very important uh, for connecting with peripheral organs and uh, moving impulses to brain and with brain to the peripheral part, to the muscles, to the, uh, with skin, with uh, different sense organs and other. Peripheral nervous system, it's uh, today a lecture uh, and a peripheral nervous system consists of the spinal nerves. All this is spinal nerves, it's a mixed function. Please remember this information. It's very important, uh, spinal nerves how mix function, uh, it, uh, it's a mix fibers. You understand it's first time <clears throat> uh, motor sensory uh, mix uh, function in a one uh, nurse and cranial nerves. Today we too will speak about uh, cranial nerves and cranial nerves uh, classification first time in sensory nerves. First, second, and eight pairs of the cranial nerves. It's the only uh, sensory function. Motor nerves, third, uh, four, six, 11, and 12. Time to time, third, uh, move into the mixed because present uh, uh, vegetative autonomous nervous fibers. And uh, mixed uh, nerves, it's uh, all other nerves in a uh, 12 pair of the cranial nerves. So, and uh, peripheral nervous system include uh, autonomic part of the nervous system. Uh, sorry, one minute. So sorry, I'm um, very put. Uh, so, and uh, autonomic part of the nervous system, it's a, a sympathetic, uh, sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. It's a peripheral nervous system. Spinal cord, uh, spinal cord, uh, it's a very long structure uh, and uh, you, uh, um, remember the uh, spinal cord located in a uh, vertebral column. Uh, starting with uh, near foramen magnum. Foramen magnum, uh, what is bone? Open the chat and uh, type in, in the chat uh, time to time. I have a question. And you write in very quickly answer in the chat, okay? What? Bone? Health for Amen Magnum, please, dear student, in the chat, type in. Now, write in, type in. 
who remember for Amal Magma. Occipital uh, bone, occipital, not occipital, occipital. And uh, occipital bone really is this for Amal Magma and in the Finnish it's a lumbal first, lumbal second, uh, Yes, in the skull. Thank you. And uh, have Musa occipital bone, bottom of the skull. Great. And um, runs through the vertebral column of the vertebral uh, vertebral canal in a vertebral column. And function it's a sensory and motor innervation of entire body inferior uh, the head through the spinal nerves uh, two way conduction pathway between uh, the body and the brain. And it's a major center for reflexes. You understand uh, all reflexes or reflexia, it's uh, uh, very important in a, uh, life, yes? Without reflexia, uh, uh, it's a not real life. Uh, our lecture with feedback with you in a chat, it's too uh, same, uh, some reflexia, because I have a question, you have answered, and I, I understand only four person uh, connect now uh, with my speech. Yes, uh, other students uh, stay only in uh, uh, sky, uh, yes. Okay, uh, but uh, you remember you will uh, have uh, in a Finnish model control and some question with lecture course. Uh, two will present in a Finnish and uh, I hope you uh, have answered to this question. Okay, foramen and Magnum, uh, spinal cord starting from and Magnum, very important in a clinic. It's a very Finnish, this is uh, spinal. Uh, court because um, all uh, connection and all uh, touch uh, really, for example, uh, needle in a diagnostic with spinal cords is big problem in the future. It may be uh, present paresis uh, and paralysis um, and without function in some region. Um, Conus medullaris, conus medullaris, uh, this is parts, uh, it's a, in a newborn child located uh, near second and third vertebral, uh, vertebras in the lumbal region. In adult, it's a uh, level first lumbal vertebra, really. Spinal nerves have, uh, par it's a part of the peripheral nervous system and uh, 31 pierce uh, segments and uh, 31 pairs of the spinal nerves and uh, one horizontal uh, region, horizontal region, well located uh, posterior and superior, uh, anterior and posterior, sorry, roots and uh, in a one horizontal line two spinal nerves. Together it's a, a segment of the spinal nerve. It's a very important structure in a, a peripheral nervous system because uh, near, uh, starting with a segment uh, will be uh, next time uh, moving different uh, routes for innervation, different region in a, a human body. Starting uh, uh, spinal nerves uh, in the intervertebral uh, foramina. Maybe you remember uh, in a structure of uh, vertebral column present in the up region, it's an incisor of uh, inferior of the uh, some vertebras uh, and uh, next time incisor superior uh, uh, lower region uh, vertebras. Together, uh, when meeting uh, two incisors, yes, uh, superior and inferior, it will be start intervertebral foramen. It's a foramen where uh, starting uh, spinal nerves. Spinal nerves uh, divide by, by the, of the vertebral location. Uh, differences uh, in the numbering. Uh, 
and you understand why uh, seven uh, sacral sacrum sacral bone but uh, you remember in a sacrum uh, present foramina for uh, spinal nerve and after this is foramina moving uh, spinal nerves and one coccyx one coccyx and one coccygeal uh, spinal nerves cow diquina cow diquina or horse tail uh, it's a collection of nerves roots at inferior end uh, of vertebral column and uh, it's very important structure too because uh, here uh, in this is place where located this horse tail uh, it's located big portion uh, spinal nerves and next time moving to a uh, region where located vertebras and uh, i will play information spinal um, uh, cord medulla uh, spinalis finishing in a lumbar one a region it's very important moment too cervical spinal nerves uh, exit from above the uh, respective vertebra first time spinal nerve root first from uh, above cervical first uh, spinal nerve root second from between uh, first and second and etc clinically for example when uh, referring to disc uh, impediment uh, both levels of vertebra it, uh, for example, it's a different uh, location in a vertebral column. And symptoms usually indicate which level um, with disorders and with, for example, trauma uh, when have problem in this region. You remember uh, meninges. Meninges, it's a protection of not only uh, spinal cord, it's a protection of the meninges uh, of the brain and uh, three meninges full same uh, name and uh, connecting this structure in the uh, brain and spinal cords it's a dura mater outer uh, arachnoid mater it's a middle and uh, pia mater uh, pia mater or inner pia mater connecting with brain this cortex and pia mater connect with all structure of the spinal cord Three uh, potential uh, spaces. Uh, it's an epidural outside uh, dura mater. Uh, deep uh, to arachnoid, yes. Next one, uh, spinal cord covering uh, and spaces. Uh, here it's a dura mater in a section, uh, arachnoid mater and pia mater. Pia mater connect with spinal cord. Uh, and uh, next time you'll uh, very good looking in the arachnoid mater connect with, with uh, spinal nerve. Uh, in a place where located a special structure, a structure it's a dorsal uh, root to ganglion sensorium nervus spinalis. And epidural spaces uh, in this variant and uh, dura mater epidural, near dura mater, yeah. Uh, lumbal uh, puncture or uh, spinal tap, uh, it's a um, when uh, a, special, a special lumbar puncture needle moving in a space uh, where located as, um, a special cerebral uh, spinal fluid. This is fluid. Uh, it's for uh, diagnosis, for example, meningitis, inflammation of uh, meningus. As a variant, it's a, uh, in this spaces in this is liquid uh, may present some blood when have crash vessels in the spinal cord and in the brain too. Uh, different uh, internal structure, very good you will st uh, study in a practical lesson. It's a, a white matter and gray matter. Uh, 
clumps of gray running in the, uh, in, in the spinal cord with posterior and superior uh, horn or dorsal and ventral and lateral horses, uh, horns, uh, lateral horns uh, in thoracic and superior lumbar cord only present. White matter of the spinal cord, uh, it's a myelinated and unmyelinated axons, uh, ascending fibrous sensory information from sensory nerves of body up to brain, descending fibrous motor instruction uh, from brain to spinal cord and stimulates contraction of body muscles and stimulates uh, secretion from body glands. Commissural uh, fibrous, white matter uh, fibrous, uh, uh, crossing from one side of cord to the other. Most pathway cross uh, or uh, decusate, uh, decusate, decusation uh, at some point, and most synapse uh, two or three times along the way in brain stem, uh, thalamus, or other. And uh, you remember development uh, of the brain developed from neural tube, a brain. Uh, the first time uh, divides into forebrain, midbrain, and hindbrain. And um, uh, this uh, further divide uh, each with a filled uh, uh, fluid filled region, ventricles, aqueduct, or canal. Spinal cord uh, also has a canal in the internal structure. It's a canal uh, of the spinal cord with uh, cerebrospinal liquid. Two major bands uh, or uh, flexors, uh, flexures, uh, occurs midbrain and cervical. And it's a uh, neural tube with cavity. This is cavity, uh, it's a uh, canal. Uh, and uh, this is canal continue in all time in the spinal cord. And uh, cavity of the uh, telencephalon, it's a uh, ending point of the brain, it's a cavity uh, lateral ventricles, lateral ventricles first and third, it's a right and left uh, uh, ventricles in the hemispherium. Uh, well, location telencephalon, it's a cerebrum or uh, cerebrum, it's a hemispherium with uh, internal structure, white matter, and basal nuclei and cortex. Next one, diencephalon. Diencephalon, uh, I replay, it's a uh, place, uh, it's a part located between uh, brain stem and uh, uh, cerebral. Uh, diencephalon, diencephalon. And brain stem, if you remember, it's a five parts, five parts of the brain stem, it's a medulla oblongata pons and midbrain. Mid, uh, it's a three parts of the brain stem. Here, uh, brain stem, midbrain, pons, and medulla oblongata. In the posterior uh, part located cerebellum. Uh, lateral ventricles, it's a uh, cavity of the, uh, in the uh, cerebral. Third ventricle cavity, a special cavity in a diencephalon between two thalamus, uh, cerebral aqueduct, it's a special uh, canal between third ventricle and fourth ventricle, and uh, in the fourth ventricle, continue next time in the spinal cord in the central canal. Uh, very interesting moment in adult, this is central canal in a spinal cord, may uh, absent after seven, eight centimeters after foramen magnum. It's in a clinic in a, when, uh, in a section very good uh, may uh, look in. Cerebral hemispheres grooves into a uh, horseshoe sure shape and it's a special uh, different week uh, time in a development five weeks, uh, 13, 26 weeks, and in a birth, in a newborn child, this is brain. Uh, and here it's a parts of the uh, brain too. 
and uh, brain stem, uh, diencephalon and cerebrum. And cephalon, it's the same with brain. Uh, cerebrum, it's the only uh, um, finished part. Uh, it's a hemispherium with uh, uh, white and uh, basal nuclei and cortex. And the whole system uh, reflects uh, it's a sensor input to integration in a central nervous system. Uh, it's a thinking about this is a glasses with water. Next time moving information to the brain. Uh, next moving impulses with a motor cortex in the brain after spinal cords to the muscles. And a uh, person may uh, give uh, some glasses with water and drink this water. And different uh, neuro, neuro, ne neurons uh, uh, in uh, different parts, uh, central and peripheral, it's a uh, very in, in important and very interesting. You will study it in a histology, uh, some internal structure of nervous impulse, synapses, uh, in the physiology too, and uh, for your question, you now open the chat and I will wait in, in a lecture present 39 person and I will wait in answer. What parts do you know uh, that are in the rule system, please? Write in, in the chat. Nerves only, not only nerves, all nervous system. What parts? Central nervous system, brain and spinal cord. Yeah, brain and spinal cord. But it's a not uh, all nervous system, uh, Musa. What uh, plus peripheral uh, nerves? Yeah, peripheral nerves, but not only nervous, it's a uh, different ganglion and uh, other structure too, uh, very important for uh, understand. Uh, so next time it's a cavity, it's a cavity in a, a adult uh, uh, brain and uh, it's a lateral ventricle, it's a third ventricle, it's a, a aqueduct uh Silvius and um, fourth ventricle uh, located in near brain stem and uh, central canal in the uh, spinal cord I look to in this picture. Functional areas it's a more than 52 uh, Broadman center in the cortex in with different function. Uh, it's uh, information in when you will finish uh, all structure of the nervous system and in the cortex uh, it's very uh, interesting and very important we allocated some function in the cortex and uh, it's a primary motor, uh, pre-motor, uh, pre uh, sulcus pre-central and post-central, it's a sensory. Uh, and uh, association area, association tracts uh, present uh, in the one hemisphere uh, and uh, in the diencephalon present different uh, other function. A cross section, it's a central nervous system spinal cord and uh, uh, here present uh, different internal structure in the spinal cord. And cranial nerves, cranial nerves, it's a very important part. It's a very hard, but very important uh, part of the uh, peripheral nervous system, not only spinal nerves, uh, it's a, a peripheral nervous system. Cranial nerves, it's a, a 12 pair of the cranial, uh, cranial nerves with different function. Different function, uh, it's a, 
for example, first pair for uh, smell. Yes, you understand what does it mean, smell and uh, optic for vision. Smell and vision, it's uh, 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 more than 90% all uh, emotion and all uh, standing what is uh, now uh, near you. And uh, when you have some smelling, it's connect with your brain and uh, it's information too very important for all uh, reflexia in your life. Oculomotor, uh, four of the six extremic uh, eye muscles. How many muscles uh, do you remember in a uh, uh, near eye? Maybe uh, in the chat you write in, it's a six uh, muscles uh, connected in the skeletal, yes? Uh, next uh, next time it's a uh, uh, fourth pair of the cranial nerves, uh, trochlear nerve, e uh, extrinsic eye muscles. It's uh, only one muscle innervation. Uh, it will be uh, oblique superior muscle. Trigeminal, sensory fibers to the faces and motor fibers to the uh, chevin muscle. Uh, trigeminal nerve, uh, very, very hard structure with three uh, branches. It's a three different uh, nerves, uh, ophthalmic, uh, maxillary and mandibular. And uh, all uh, this is cranial nerves, uh, it's, uh, connecting with your information about structure of uh, skull. All opening uh, in a skull, in a different bones, it's a, a opening where meeting, uh, where meeting uh, and moving, uh, this is cranial nerves, uh, plus vessels, uh, artery and vein. Uh, abducens, abducens controls eyes muscle, uh, the turn the eye laterally. It's only one muscle innervated, a lateral rectus muscle. Facial, uh, facial expression, facial expression, facial muscle, uh, facial nerve. Uh, vestibular cochlear, hearing and balance. Uh, we will uh, look next time this variant to glossopharyngeal, tanka and pharynx. Uh, why glosso? Because tange in a Latin language, it's a glossus uh, in the Greek language, yeah? In Latin language, it's a lingua. Three names, tange, uh, glossus, and lingua, it's a one organs. Vagus nerve from medulla, uh, it's a heart and uh, breathing. Vagus nerve, it's the longest nerve in the uh, human body. Accessory nerve, accessory part of the vagus nerve and hypoglossal smooth muscle uh, under tongue. This variant, it's a uh, generally uh, schematic uh, of the cranial nerves. And you looked all cranial nerves, it's a pair. Uh, first pair, second pair, uh, third and other. Together, cranial uh, nerves, it's a number 24 uh, because right and left parts present. Next, uh, it's uh, different color for sensory fibers and motor fibers, but uh, not only sensory and motor fibers present uh, because uh, it's very important uh, moment, uh, different other vegetative uh, fibers too present in a different cranial nerves. It's uh, in a development, uh, different cranial nerves in a uh, fetus. Cranial nerves uh, for uh, remembering different method using. First pair, it's a nose. It's an olfactory nerve. Uh, it's olfactory nerve, yeah? Uh, next one. Sorry. Uh, optic nerve. Optic nerve, it's a two glasses, two optic, two eyes. Uh, it's an optic nerve connecting with two eyes. And uh, vision, it's a um, uh, really very important uh, function too. 
Number three, oculomotor nerve. Number four, trochlear. Why uh, number four, uh, cranial nerves uh, for, for spare have name uh, trochlear, rated oblique superior muscle. Next one, uh, number five here, uh, frontal region, uh, maxillar and mandibular. Uh, here present uh, in a different picture, uh, teeth. Uh, and uh, moving all the chewing muscle because not only uh, really uh, teeth uh, innervated this nerve, uh, maxillary and mandibular. Number six, uh, laterally of uh, in the back, yes, laterally located uh, ab abducens uh, rectus, lateral muscle moving eyes to the back. Together, right and left in a one moment, and real moving in a uh, side to eyes. Uh, remember, please, this information too. Seven, uh, with skin you looked, yes, it's a, in a facial. Uh, eight, uh, acoustic, it's a not correct name, but uh, using uh, very often uh, uh, acoustic nerve. And uh, next time, uh, it's a uh, uh, eight nine glossopharyngeal uh, vagus nerve located in the pharynx uh, and in the radix of the uh, tongue. Uh, next one, uh, it's uh, uh, eleven. Where well, located eleven pair? It's uh, really uh, eleven. Uh, only two muscle innervated. This is nerve accessory nerve. Uh, it's a trapezius muscle and sternocleidomastoid muscle. When in the exam uh, you have question with uh, professor uh, what muscles, uh, what function of the uh, accessory nerve, you can not have speech, you can move in only uh, one uh, variant, this one. It's mark five because it's a flexion of the sternocleidomastoid muscle and uh, trapezoid muscle. It's uh, this one, it's a function of the accessory nerve and hypoglossal uh, different. As a variant, your version, uh, your picture, yeah? This one, it's a first, uh, second, you can look, to, uh, it's mistake for trochlear because trochlear in the up region all uh, time thinking where uh, you can change. Maybe you have uh, your vision of the cranial nerves. It's very good. It's a cranial here, yes. Uh, and I uh, replay. Uh, when you uh, will start it, uh, studying cranial nerves, please replay, uh, replay information about uh, structure of the skull because all this is opening uh, have nerve and artery for moving this is uh, structure and uh, some structure for in the skull and um, rostrocaudal uh, rostrocaudal location uh, 12 pair of the cranial nerves it's a one first in a start next second uh, and to the 12th, yeah, you, you will look rostrum, it's a nose or uh, nose in a bird, in a real, yes, in a uh, coccyx, in a finish. And with angle located uh, brain stem and all brain stem, it's a uh, uh, have cranial nerves uh, nuclei, but uh, cranial nerves nuclei uh, have only with starting the third, to 12 pair of the cranial nerves. First and second cranial nerves haven't nuclei in a brain stem. It's a first and second cranial nerves olfactory and optic. It's a moving uh, brain to the external, really. Eyes and uh, in a nasal cavity uh, olfactory nerve. Uh, it's brain stem, yeah? It's a real uh, brain uh, and it's uh, different roots where starting in a brain stem, uh, cranial nerves. First and second without uh, nuclei replace this information. 
and uh, some pictures for uh, understanding. Uh, in a midbrain located uh, nuclei of the cranial nerves, uh, starting with third to fourth cranial nerves only. Number third, it's oculomotor. Fourth, it's a trochlear nerve. It's an, in uh, in the midbrain. Next one in a pons, uh, five to eight cranial nerves have nuclei. It's a different color. It's a nuclei of the uh, in the pons. But uh, you remember in the pons present not only nuclei of the cranial nerves present as a nuclei too. And if you have question, what nuclei present in the uh, pons medulla oblongata in the brain, uh, you uh, uh, very good if you remember. It's not only nuclei of the pons, it's a nuclei plus uh, of the cranial nerves. And uh, in the pons, uh, five, six, seven, eight uh, cranial nerves. Next one, in the medulla oblongata, it's a nine and 12 pair. And please remember, first and second cranial nerves haven't, haven't uh, uh, nuclei. It's a ending uh, brain in uh, peripheral surfaces of the uh, organism. Okay, and some picture in the finish uh, for remembering cranial nerves. This variant, very interesting. One nose, two uh, eyes. Uh, number three, moving eyes. Yes, ocular motor. Number four, two trochlea, two trochlea, uh, trochlea ligaments for moving uh, oblique superior muscle. Very interesting. Number five. Here, yes. Uh, next one, nose, uh, teeth, but why located not? Because chowing muscle too innervated, not only sensory innervation, uh, motor innervation present in a trigeminal nerve too. Number six, in a uh, lateral moving eyes, yeah? Number seven, uh, interesting, a symptom of the carrot. Uh, popular in a, a neurology, it's a van absent um, moment for a real uh, uh, smile. If some person not moving in a full uh, smile in the up, musculus risorius, yeah, you remember. Uh, when some problem, it's may present in a boxer. Uh, in a boxer, for example, may present... Uh, uh, some uh, variant and uh, it's not real uh, smile in this variant uh, present. Uh, eight, vestibular cochlear, not only hearing, vestibular apparatus. Uh, in uh, Russia, very popular toys, it's a Vankovstanka. It's a van located some uh, toys and moving in a, a, a different location, but return to Spain. It's a vestibular cochlear uh, upper, uh, nervous. A glossopharyngus for sensory tongue, uh, different uh, taste, yes? Uh, number 10, uh, it's a vagus nerve. Uh, he, uh, here, uh, drawing esophagus, stomach, heart, and uh, this nerve innervated to intestinum. Very long way, this is vagus nerve. It's a very long nerve. 11 and 12 uh, for uh, shoulder girdle and for moving of the tongue. Uh, some variants, this is schematic. You can draw in your variant in a one paper. If you make uh, some vision, gloss of uh, cranial nerves, Please send and uh, we will uh, delay, uh, share in this information because it's very um, interesting your vision too. Uh, different mnemonic technique for remembering, you can use uh, and uh, association to here, facial, facial nerve. It's a symptom of the mask 
when absent real emotion for a different moment. And I will finish our lecture with uh, this uh, schematic uh, and only a few questions. Uh, why smelling? Because uh, you understand, uh, smell in nasal cavity. Uh, why in uh, optic nerve uh, located uh, Superman? What your opinion about this moment? Why? You can uh, turn uh, on your microphone and have uh, comments. Because it's about uh, seeing something. Yes, because if you remember a film about Superman, this is person staying in a, a biggest tower in a city, yes, and looking well located, beautiful uh, girl, and this is sitting and uh, very speed uh, moving to a moment when uh, have different uh, uncomfortable situations to this person. Yeah, uh, three. Uh, point to diagnostic trigeminal nerve, touch uh, forehead and cheek and clean uh, teeth. It's a uh, foramen supraorbitale, infraorbitale and foramen mentale. It's a three points where I finish uh, three nerves, uh, ophthalmic, uh, maxillary and mandibular. Uh, abducens, look side to side. But a really uh, unreal uh, situation when um, moving uh, uh, in a one time uh, two muscles. Uh, facial, uh, this is uh, untypical smile, yes. Uh, he acoustic, vestibular cochlear, hearing and equilibrium. Vagus nerve, only one question. Why uh, here present this is animal? Who is it? Vagotonist. Vagotonist, it's a person who have a big vascular, a big function, vagus nerve. It's a person who uh, not very quickly and slowly understand yeah it's not uh, really me and hypoglossal uh, tongue movement if uh, ice cream it's uh, really you can uh, touch with tongue to ice cream and uh, moving this is a nerve it's a glossopharyngeal nerve please um, I remember this information, uh, different mnemonic technique for, for remembering. For example, facial nerve, different uh, uh, vision and understanding, temporal, zygomatic, buccal, mandibular and cervical branches, uh, different, different nerves. Uh, it's very important too. And well located, what classification? Uh, different vision, uh, you can draw in this information in your uh, self. And this is 12 pair of the cranial nerves, so really in a practic lesson, it's a three practic lesson because big portion information, big portion branches, not only vagus nerve and trigeminal and facial, it's a all roots for all organs uh, of the human body. And in a finish, I have to you, uh, oh, it's a vision uh, with microscope, different organs and uh, different system. Uh, I hope you, uh, one question to you in a finish, do you want to be happy? Yes Everybody no? wants, everybody wants. Yes, okay, <laughs> be happy.